Talk to me about um, the influence of our parents and the way that it can fuel decisions that we make positively well, oh or negatively. My, I mean, everybody, I mean, the, you know, they say that we use only 10% of our brains, but it's because the other 90% is our subconscious and our parents are, everything that we learn as a kid that, that we, that, that's instilled, all the little moments, little comments, everything we see and hear, absorb, that becomes the fabric of our subconscious. And our subconscious is what we, we, we live our lives you know, um, based on. And so you have a kid who thinks, you know, if you have a parent who always says, you can't do this or you're not good enough, they don't really go off and try and, and, and go after things. If you have a kid who, you know, the family didn't grow up with money, but they said, you know what? You can be president one day. You can run a company. You can do whatever you want. They, it's, it's instilled into their subconscious that they can do that. And so um, what our parents do and say and teach us is everything. Talk to me about Coco and, and maybe specifically some of the sacrifices that she needs to make in order to be the mom that she thinks is best for her child. You find out in the movie there's a, there's a twist with Coco's character and you find out that she was uh, uh, you know, a badass and, and pretty, pretty awesome and she has a, a lot of uh, qualities that um, would allow her to do many things. Um, in the world and out of all the roads she chose in life to go down she decided to go down the road that would allow her to be an amazing mother and I just really love that about Coco that out of all the professions she could do in the world out of all the things that she could use her time to be she chose to be a mother and that just shows how important being a mother really is you know with her strength and her abilities and her talent um, that are revealed later she could have been a hero to many but she chose to be a hero to one to one boy, to her son. And I just think that that's such a special, special quality in, in every woman to be able to, to, you know, put their children above themselves. Yeah.